Hello folks, my name is Tim and welcome back to my channel. So I actually wasn't planning on making a video today, but then this happened. All right, we have definitely got to find something fun to do with you.
Well, all right then. That was a lot of fun to build and hopefully it was fun to watch. So let's take a look at some of the components we used. Obviously, we've got this nice big sheet of LEDs. These are WS2812B LEDs. That means they're RGB LEDs and they're individually addressable. Sometimes they're called NeoPixels. They have other names as well, and they're really ubiquitous. There's tons of tutorials on how to use these things. They're really easy to get hold of, and they're a lot of fun to play with. The star of the show, however, is right here on our breadboard. So this is the Raspberry Pi Pico. It is the latest board from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and it is a little microcontroller. It's kind of equivalent to something like an Arduino, and it's intended for use in the same sorts of applications. However, it's a very powerful microcontroller, and it's also very easy to program. You just hook it up to a USB here, and then you can start programming this thing in either MicroPython, CircuitPython from Adafruit, or in straight C. And there's an SDK that's provided by the Raspberry Pi Foundation for how you do that. Really very easy to use, loads of fun to play with, and I'm really looking forward to putting this thing through its paces and doing some more interesting projects in the future. So underneath the actual Pi, we have this little board here, and this is just a logic level shifter. Uh, the Pi actually outputs 3.3 uh, volts on its GPIO pins, and that is perfectly fine, but it wasn't quite enough to um, drive these NeoPixels reliably. So to account for that, I use a little logic shifter here. So we have a 3.3 volt side, which is these sets of wires here coming out of the Pi. Um, that's power, ground, and the control signal. Those go into our little logic converter here. And then on the 5 volt side, we have this lot here. We have an external power supply, which is uh, this. And that provides us with a good, solid 5 volt supply uh, with plenty of current. And that's important because when these guys fire up, they can pull upwards of 5 amps, depending on how many are lit up and what color they are. That's a lot of juice and obviously far more than we can put through the little microcontroller. So we have a separate supply here just to make sure everything is nice and stable and works the way it should. Anyway. There you are. It's a very simple little project, but it was a lot of fun, uh, and hopefully it's inspired you to go have a play yourself. Honestly, these little boards are fantastic, and they're four pounds. Four pounds. You really can't lose. Go grab one. Go have a play. Thanks for watching.